using electronic controls means to tighten tax administration and collect more taxes, although this hasn't yielded optimum results as the Uganda Revenue Authority envisaged. The taxman contends that there is more room for improvement on the tax administration front. Countries that have deployed this technology efficiently, VAT contributes above 30%. Even countries within the East African region who have deployed this technology effectively and who have a similar tax rate of 18% for VAT, like we do, they collect about 30%. So that tells you what we could be losing. If we are collecting about 3.4 trillion without the technology and we are only collecting 15% of the total collection, if we effectively roll out this technology, we'll collect double. URA has also opted to take a more friendly approach to enlisting better results from the new IFRIS online tax system by engaging the final buyer as well as some businesses in a campaign dubbed Mpari City Yangi. Now the uptake of IFRIS has been low, uh, mainly for two reasons. One, uh, the people who are supposed to ask for this receipt, the consumers, have not been sensitized. And this is what this campaign is about. So when you buy, make it a point to ask for a receipt. And when you get a receipt, make sure it is an e-receipt. The description of an e-receipt we have already mentioned. It has the, that uh, QR code, uh, which shows, and it also has that unique number on it, which, uh, ev which is evidence that the transaction you've just concluded has an element of tax, and that tax has been, uh, has been paid. But also we are taking this opportunity to sensitize our... our, our our taxpayers, the, the businesses who, who collect the VAT on behalf of government, that you can collect this uh, VAT and you can transact and collect VAT without really touching your capital because this is a tax that is paid by the final consumer. So this campaign is to mobilize both. Can the taxman soften the face of tax administration? It may perhaps require some sustained efforts beyond this current campaign. Ismail Musa Ladu, NTV Business.